Hey folks, GP Car Guy here. You know what? Always wanting to keep you informed on the latest, the greatest, whatever's happening in our industry. That's the automotive industry. I do a lot of research, so I thought I'd share everything I can with you guys. Again, this is another great video from the GP Car Guy, Corey Sawchuk. You're watching News 3 HD at 6. Well, your questions answered. It's our Tuesday Good Question tonight on News 3 at 6. And tonight we're exploring what's often overlooked when you get the oil changed in your car, standard oil or synthetic. Yeah, you talk about this all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a heated debate that exists questioning whether or not synthetic is really good for your car. And News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us now with tonight's Good Question, Mark. Yeah, guys, not only is this a debate, it's actually an issue that many people are facing these days. In fact, I did over the weekend because many of those quick lube oil change companies they're actually pressuring car owners to make the switch to synthetic. Is it because it's more expensive and they make more money? Or is synthetic oil truly better for your vehicle? Some folks on Facebook wanted to know, and we found the answer. Life is full of choices, regular or diet. Like paper, plastic. And maybe ones that are a little more complicated, like synthetic oil or standard. So how do you know which choice is best for you, especially when you're forced to make a somewhat pressured decision at some of those quick lube shops? The key difference is... MATC instructor Bob Gray helps differentiate the standard natural stuff from man-made synthetic. Synthetic is an engineered oil. Uh, the product is made up of... Uh, it can even be an organic compound such as uh, soybean, uh, canola, or it can be a uh, plastic resin. More and more credible shops like Zimbrick are switching to a synthetic blend as their standard. And while there are many good things associated with synthetic, Gray says if you have an older car, synthetic is not for you. My opinion would be pre-95. It's got high miles, which I mean like you're up around 100,000 miles. I would definitely be very cautious of going to a synthetic oil. That's because the older technology and gaskets will cause synthetic oil to leak, and it doesn't have the lubrication for the old push rod engines. Synthetic is also more expensive, but the good thing about it, you don't have to change your oil as often, and some claim you get better gas mileage. The good thing about the synthetic oil is you can run this roughly three times the drain interval as the petroleum base. Hmm. So by doing that, it's going to cost you maybe less in the long run. A lot of information there, but your best bet, we're told, is to ask a mechanic that you know and trust to see which engine oil is really right for your vehicle. Also, you should check out your owner's manual like this one. Many, especially newer cars, actually recommend synthetic oil, and your manual will actually tell you which oil is best for your vehicle and which isn't. But a key point there from your expert, don't switch a car that's always been on the right. on real oil to the synthetic at 100,000 miles. Right. And the, higher, the higher the vehicle mileage, the, the worse it is to make the switch. And if you do decide to make the switch, you know, you shouldn't go back and forth. We're also told that could be bad for your vehicle as well. So once you make the choice to switch, Stick with it. All Very right. interesting. News Street's Mark Lovacott. Good question tonight, Mark. Thanks. You Thanks, bet. Mark. Another great video. Always looking for a little bit of extra advice, tips, and anything else in the automotive industry. GP Car Guy. Visit us online, gpcarguy.com or thegrandprairieautogroup.com or .ca.